David, obviously it's a, a cup game tomorrow night. How are you all feeling after that result on Sunday? Um, yeah, we're all looking forward to it. Um, we know Sunday wasn't good enough, but the games are coming thick and fast and it's just about putting that right on the game tomorrow and we're, we're all looking forward to it. How much have you guys looked back on the game on Sunday and tried to work out you know, what it was that went wrong for you? Um, we had a meeting um, during the week after it and um, just discussing everything, kind of where we felt we went wrong and kind of how just how to put things right and kind of put our style of play to, to good use, like what we've been doing, but it's just about kind of doing that in every game and we've went over that and hopefully it um, starts cutting for us now. How much do you feel that you need to give the, the supporters a good performance and go on a decent run now? Yeah, it's massive. Uh, the supporters came out in their numbers. Um, on Sunday there was a lot of them there and it was disappointing not to send them back home happy, but we've done that a few times this season. It's Personally, you, you feel good about yourself um, doing that and it's just about kind of putting a run together now and I'm sure the fans will be behind us, they always are, and it's about providing the results for them. You probably get, you know, so much um, praise for the way that Celtic can play, the way that you're attacking, as well as, you know, getting a lot of criticism for, for not getting the results away from home in particular, for conceding goals. How frustrating is it for you guys, knowing kind of what you're capable of and then that you have these drop-offs? Um, it's just about getting into every game the same, thinking with the same mentality. Um, we know how good as a team we can be. Um, we've showed that this, this season already and it's I think it's just about um, being consistent with that and kind of doing everything the manager wants us to do and all kind of just gelling together and working as hard as we can for the team and I'm sure uh, we'll start going the run um, and get all the results we need. Uh, David, I know most teams tend to do better at home than they do away in general, but I mean, why is there such a big difference in terms of your results at the moment and the way you're generally playing at home compared to away? Um, I'm not too sure. I think uh, the last game we played away in Europa League against Betis, they're a great side and I felt we kind of outplayed them. And most part of the game, it was just a few wee moments in the game that kind of killed us. Sunday was, was a tough one, uh, we know we weren't good enough in the day, uh, it's just about putting that right, but I wouldn't say at the moment um, we're playing too badly, but it's about stepping up these kind of performances and um, getting on the winning end of the game. Getting through to Hamden means that you're at the business end of a tournament, how important would it be for you and the players to know you had a match at Hamden coming up with a semi-final? It's huge. Uh, that's where everybody kind of wants to perform. It's one of the biggest stages. Um, going to the national stadium, you know, you're in an important game then, and to uh, get to the semi final, it'd be great for the boys. But we're just concentrated on tomorrow, fully focused on that, and kind of getting the job done. And then we'll see where it takes us. What do you expect from Race Rovers? Um, we've been through them as opposition. They're a good side. Um, they like we know we like to they like to pass the ball a lot and um, try to play out. Uh, we'll see whether they do that tomorrow or not. But they they're a good side and we know we need to be on our game facing them. David, yeah, do you find it more difficult to prepare when it's against lower leagues or opposition that you know you're not familiar to play against and, and you're not quite sure what they what they might come up and how they might play because obviously they're used to dominating in lower league games, but then they come and perhaps sit in a little bit deeper against you. Um, no, I wouldn't. I'd say every game, um, we all want to perform the same, no matter what opposition it is, if it's in the Europa League against one of the big sides or, in this case, the Championship, we'll go into the game fully focused and playing our football and try to get the best result we can and kind of implement our style in the game.